with their eyes set on returning to the White House, former President Trump and other top Republicans are gathering for a big GOP fundraiser this weekend. It comes as the party's still trying to craft a strategy for its return to power. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell live at the White House for us this morning with more. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Peter. This weekend can be seen as a test or a demonstration of Donald Trump's political sway. By gathering with donors, raising money, mingling with political figures, he can try to show he is still on top of the Republican Party. Just 80 days after landing in Palm Beach, this weekend, Trump, allies, and donors are gathering in the Florida sun but behind closed doors to raise money and maybe expectations. Do you miss me yet? Do you miss me yet? The former president is expected to speak to the gathering and has been wielding his influence to endorse for 2022, like Marco Rubio and Rand Paul just this week. His Mar-a-Lago club is a photo op stop for political allies like candidate Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who held a fundraiser there for her run for Arkansas governor. This week, Trump's team relaunched merchandise sales, stopped when online partners dropped them after the insurrection. But the former president, who persists with his false claims about the election, is not opening up yet on his own future plans, even asked by daughter-in-law Laura Trump about 2024. You do have hope. That I can tell you. <laughs> you do have hope. Other Republicans are stirring White House aspirations from Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis. We are an oasis of freedom in a nation that's suffering. To South Dakota's Governor Kristi Noem. America needs conservatives now more than ever. Mike Pompeo added Fox News contributor to his resume. I hear President Biden saying, America's back. Back to what? But notably missing this weekend in Florida, Republican officials not on the Trump train. And former Vice President Mike Pence, who just inked his own book deal. And by keeping up the suspense about his own potential run for the White House again, the former president is soaking up donor cash and altering the path for other would-be candidates who need to be preparing right now to position themselves for 2024. Peter, Kristen? Still a long way off, and we're already talking about it. Kelly O'Donnell <laughs> at the White House this morning. Kelly, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.